Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're counting on with another little stanky campaign. And, uh, or Batman, should we call it. Um, so we're trying to compete with the elves to take over this territory. I'm a little worried that, um... That, yeah, I mean, all the ones expanding onto the mainland, and I hate that. Um... Because I wanted all of the land outside of Ulthorn. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think Alariel's going to let us let us have everything. Um, but we are trying. We're trying very hard. We're trying very hard. In fact, would it be better if I just threw you into the ocean? Uh, you can't get off that cliff. That's very annoying. Yeah, you know, I should have... Actually, there's like nowhere I can sail from here. I would have had to sail from Arnheim. And then up to Twisted Glade. Maybe that would have just been quicker. But yeah, a lot of this area I need to get hold of. I Though, if I leave Black Fortress, Hotex Column, and Twisted Glade for Elariel, I'm kind of fine with that, actually. I think just getting up here and taking the rest of this territory is probably better for us. Defend Although, they're also at war with the Beastmen up here too, which is like, they may end up going far afield to help me. Grr. And I know, none of this territory matters, like, at all. It's not a problem. Uh, but it's a problem for me. I I want all of the I want all of the territory. It it amuses me. Uh, let's get Urson's roar, and do not Sally act a lullaby or towards battle him? Uh, nothing lasts long enough to get tired in my armies. Um, let's get towards battle him. The extra the extra melee attack plus forty is really 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 good. It'll just help all of these guys. Actually, this is all ranged stuff, isn't it? So really, maybe that's pointless, but it's it's fine. Um, it's fine. These guys getting plus 40 melee attack will actually make him pretty formidable with a really high, like, armor-piercing weapon strength. So, I guess it's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, let's try and defend Venom Blade. Alright, so we've got some research to do, or to choose, or something. What do we want? Uh... Corruption down might be nice. Maybe. You know what, let's just get that. I'm not sure the technologies count towards expenditure um, for, uh, you know, unlocking um, new hexes or curses or whatever they're called. But, um, but still, we'll do it anyway. So these things will be more powerful. I think that'll be nice. So we already did that today, the, yeah, today, didn't we? By today, I mean this turn. Okay. Uh, all right, more money there, and we'll call that a day. Oh, commandment available over here too. Okay, good. But yeah, I think I'm happy with them just having this um, this region. Having some allies sharing land with us isn't isn't a bad thing. Although they seem to be running off in different directions. Larry, where are you going? Tordox just got discovered ambushing somewhere. He's around. Uh, okay. Let's get that. The blinding light of purity burns corruption out of its source. Uh, this we can probably just auto resolve. I think we'll be fine. There's no other army up here. The monoliths. Age of rage, huh? The unnatural aggression takes hold of the populace, a seething frustration that explodes the slightest provocation. Even the most placid soul becomes so quick to anger as, as a rabid dog. Soon enough, the fighting begins. Sorry, just, the fighting begins. Uh, the streets are littered with the dazed and beaten, and gutters run with blood. Alright, cool. Okay. Tamara Erskoy. Boop. And for you, Spirleach. Alright. Alright, got track, go. It's not actually what I want to do though, is it? Really? They've not taken any of this territory over. Well now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Do I want to attack this area and then take the rest? I mean where are they going? Where are you going, Larry? You're going to Blacklight Tower for some insane reason. Yeah, you don't get to have that, that's mine. Stop it. Like, I'm already I'm already working on that one. Uh, lightning strike. And Ulrika. Ulrika, ka, ka, ka. Let's get Merciless Attacker. And then for Irina Koshka. Uh, Aspect of the Dread Knight. I'll finally get that spell. Two levels more, and we can just stick her on auto-leveling, because there's no point. 
because I never use agent things. Oh, okay. A few places we can upgrade. Let's actually check around. There we go. I thought we might be able to. We can upgrade that too. Yeah, some of the larger places are uh, beginning to get available for upgrading. We just never have the money when we when we spot it. And that's a problem. All right, we're making our way through anyway. Our income is is doing okay. Um, to say that we have three Go armies running around now. So, okay, Gotrek, we are going to attack here, right? So we are going to attack here. We're going to lose a thing in the woods, but I can't be bothered to fight this. Um, we fought Sarlostro enough. And by that, I mean we fought her, like, once. But she doesn't feel like a big threat that needs uh, dealing with. Honestly. So, okay, we're going to do that. And then next turn, right, next turn, if these two haven't conquered anything... Then we'll take over both, right? Both of these, pro uh, both these settlements. In which case, we'll have it anyway. If they do take something over, then we can just sell them this territory, right? We can just sell them Protex Column. Wow, you leveled up a bunch, didn't you? Proud of you. Nice. Um, so yeah, we should be able to take both these places over. Although probably not, because there's no way you can take Twisted Glade um, with this being what you're up to. Uh, I can flee into friendly territory so I can at least get some replenishment. He actually took way more damage than I thought he would. Let's go fervent. Very fervent. This is my, Ferventist. My right. uh, so I can't get any recruitment either because of the stance he's in, which is a shame. I'll probably get him some more troops soon. Probably. Of Kislev's lands. Uh... Dr. Charms would have helped with the attrition. Right, let's do that. Cool. It'll be fine. And then my little stank here, I can take Black Light Tower. I'll probably have to come back to take these two down. I reckon. Oh, we're actually at war with Harganeth here. Well, not Harganeth, with the Agol? Algol? Yes, the Argol. Fine. Probably Ludred soon. Don't know who's doing anything over here. But, do I want to upgrade him then? Probably not. Um, can't quite afford that upgrade, but actually... If I can cancel another construction project... Like that, then I can. And I would much rather get at least a tier 4... Than just, like, upgrade a farm slightly. You know? Although... Wouldn't mind getting a farm or something here, though. Or, I won't bother, because I might end up plugging that anyway. Okay, more technology. Um, Alright, more war sled armor. <laughs> we'll get more stuff. Oh, by the way, so I, I hadn't... Um, I, didn't, I didn't really care much about it. Uh, but, yeah, if you hover over here, if you control Kislev and Grand Prague, or be allied with their Kislevite owner... You unlock everything else. Um, it's not something I really cared about. Um, I actually enjoyed the fact that you couldn't build a bunch of this stuff because it meant that Ostank, you know, Mother Ostanki's campaign was very unique. But of course, if you end up basically taking over Kislev and being the one running it because everyone else has failed to keep it safe, then it kind of makes sense that you get to muster everybody. Um, you know, actually muster the populace. So I like that. I like the fact that you can you can actually get access to everything else. Um, but, while I'm nowhere near Kislev, I'm actually more than happy um, to have nothing to do with it. I'm actually thrilled that we can't just get, like, a normal Kislev army. Because if I wanted to have a normal Kislev army, I'd play as any other lord, you know? But, the story might make it relevant to, um, to start mustering a proper army. Because, you know, we might end up being forced to confederate uh, Zarina Katarin because she's she's flailing or something. You know, we might come to the rescue and then sort of take charge to a degree. So um, you know, we might start role playing that we're managing her settlement as well as her own, you know, and then we should be able to recruit whatever. So you know, there's options. So it's it's nice that it allows you to expand the the scope of the campaign that way. But I enjoyed the limitation. Cool. Anyway, moving on. I've ever met. Okay, peace treaty. <laughs> Good one. Oh, I think Larry did take a settlement. Aw, oh, shame. 
She almost didn't. She almost didn't. And yeah, I know, bloody jerks can keep taking places over. I have to rebuild a lot of that. I mean, I did know that we'd be under like huge risk up there, so it's fine. Uh, Horticulture in Vol's Anvil. That won't do. <laughs> we can't have the French in Vol's Anvil. A travelling clothier sets up her stool, offering garments tailored so massively that they are like a second skin. I reckon it made a skin. You know, it's it's a nice corruption. Uh, all who don her garments become consumed by self-obsession, forever admiring their own reflections and refusing all other duties. Undeterred, countless more queue on the door. Uh, this, um, I actually was reminded of this recently playing um, uh, the new uh, Zelda, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, because there's like there seems to be like a weird cult of um, people who are obsessed with mushroom fashion, like wearing loads of clothes that look like mushrooms or have mushroom print on them, and that reminds me of it because they act like a cult. Which I think is very funny. So, for these uh, Scullion stable boy, the serving wench, escape from their uh, escape from their hard lives often seems impossible because generally it is. <laughs> Silly peasants. <laughs> right, let's head up to Shrock Track Mountain with you. I think between him and the garrison, we can probably hold out here. I'm even going to be so bold as to um, upgrade some junk. Uh, okay, good. You're not going to reach that before I do. You're a jerk. You know that? Yeah, well, this isn't Ulth 1. <laughs> and yes, I'm, I'm going to maintain this level of just, like, <laughs> rudeness to our allies. Yes, we'll help you defeat Chaos. No, no, it's mine. I defeat Chaos. It's my thing. How dare you? All right, lightning strike. Nice. Is always I'll re car, 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 car. Loyalty to the motherland. Buy our blood. So this gives us unbreakable when wavering, which is jolly, bloody amazing, actually, for, for you know, a, a undead unit, essentially. Um, yeah, you're you're fine. Uh, no, I right clicked you twice. My bad. Uh, anyway, I spoke to the red knight for you. But yeah, really good to have just like a a, a stint of um, unbreakable for an undead unit, because it just stops them crumbling. It's really good. Growth in the local province sounds nice. Cool. Alright, that is all fantastic. I mean, I could go for Twisted Glade and then sail north. So I could have Gotrek deal with them. But, I mean, this guy might end up going for that. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I might head down here. We'll see if Alariel... Alariel won't be able to reach that either, actually. What a nuisance. Um... Wow, dude. Chill. <laughs> Such a chill. I accept it. Brilliant. He's like, he sounds like a Pokemon. Got track Gurnison. Got track Gurnison. Like, give it a break. Jesus. Uh, more money, please. Money, please. Uh, also, I really want purification charge, please, because this is hellish. Like, a lot of corruption. Awful lot of corruption. Quite a lot here, but it's it's getting better. Alariel certainly helping. Hi, priestess. Uh, hi, but I'm not a priestess. Silly, silly sod. All right, moving on. How fair my provinces. Fight a diplomat. Welcome. Uh, military access, huh? I don't see why not. Start buttering up those elves. Oh, how wise. oh yeah, alright, come on, come on, come get me. <laughs> Go get me, bloody Valkyr. That's why they call the Valkyr the bloody, there's a big misunderstanding. Shadow Legion got destroyed. I mean, that's good for the world. That's good for the world. Um, okay. Keep heading that way, please. But yeah, we are absolutely going to get attacked here. Um, and he's headed for Nagarond. That's annoying. Didn't I say, like, oh, they're going to attack the thing. Yeah. And they did. I said it like that, too. So we definitely need to get a, get a wall up in here. 
And that is true. Uh, oh, we all strong. We have... Ooh, that could be fun. Get some lizardmen here. Be a bit weird and we won't get it done in time. I deserve a larger retinue. <laughs> that is true. Alright, let's just throw some units in here if we happen to survive a turn. Oh god, Ludric there as well though. Yeah, if we fight one army off, the other one is going to show up. That's very upsetting, the fact it's so high tier. I knew we should have made an army there. Bloody knew it. So yeah, okay, go track. Let's get this. Alright, let's get this one. And then I'm going to sail north. And, oh, good at fighting Vampire Coast. I mean, they're all dead, so it doesn't really matter. Wow, we just got a lot of a lot of junk. Hang on, are they not dead? What have they got left? What? Okay, did I miss the pop-up? Hang on. Alright, to the bottom. Uh... Oh no, no, they're dead. Yeah, it's just Vampire King Coast. Uh, just the, the Awakened down there. Coast. That's fine. Yeah, I just missed the pop-up. Yeah, I didn't see that faction getting destroyed. So okay, got tracks here, and now we can sail north with him. Well, not now, now, but you know, in a second. In a bit. It's gonna take a little while to get up there, but that's okay. Upgrade Slaver's Point. Uh, you're headed down there. Right, towel upgrade. Okay, now, do I jump out the water and start attacking territory over here, or do I just sail to Nagarond? I think the plan is to sail to Nagarond. Spirits, I see. I think that's the way to do it. Okay, are you going to get replenishment? You are. Good. It is not auspicious. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to get there. No I can sail to Hageneth, ne uh, Hagrief next turn, though, but we almost, we are almost certainly going to lose this area. Almost certainly. I'll try and protect it. A yeah. Symbol of my unparalleled yeah, we'll authority. see. Uh, and I guess I could throw in a couple of Saurus Warriors or something as well. Uh, Pterodon Riders might prove more interesting. But the idea of defending a, uh, you know, freezing wasteland with a bunch of cold-blooded creatures seems a bit silly, but we'll assume there's magic involved. Cool. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Camp out movement range minus 50%. Stops from moving entirely. Okay, that's not been updated. It might be the text. I'm not sure. Oh, I can empower it. There we go. Army must be selected. Yeah, I know. I already did that. Okay, so they can't move. I have longer to get there. This army probably won't attack me. But it might. But I can fight that off. I don't need to fight this one off. That's awesome. That's the first time I've been able to use that. Like, you know, in a way that makes sense. He's coming for me as well. Ugh. Now, I know you're coming. I know you're coming for me, Welch. Ridiculous, Welch. Uh, within your lands, one rule holds true: trespassers deserve no mercy. Too right, too right. So yeah, go try can finish this coast and then head up into this area. We do still have him for two more turns. That's embarrassing. We're gonna have that army led by a some absolute amateur in a minute, aren't we? Sure are. It's fine. I'm sure whoever replaces him will be, you know, perfectly, perfectly serviceable. In fact, nope, I can't. I was about to, I was about to do like a IQ million move, and uh, change the commandment to the one that gives us higher um, recruit rank. But it's only heroes, and we can't do it because we don't have the province. So, yeah, can't do any of that. Can't do any of that. It's fine. It's fine. Really? No, honestly, I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, let's grab some more of this nonsense. Because we do have that other quest to do, of course. Alright, good. Got a bunch of new toys. And we need to spend... 300 more. Need 300 more. 
It's a lot to spend, but we'll get there. Hey, buddy. Uh, the humans are causing you some problems, but I think you're holding out okay. I think you're doing okay. Ish. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. You'll live. I hope he lives. And we are being attacked by the Gold Queen. What a jerk. Uh, that doesn't look like a Gold Queen. So this one is... Yeah, damages until they hit 25% health, which is great. Um, so that is going to be, like, damage. It's damage per second. Does that hit everyone in the unit? Or is that just broadly? Because if it's just broadly, then that's a bit slow. It's damage there. But it might be a good way to, like, whittle down some of the Chaos Spawn. And maybe the, the Flesh Hounds, perhaps? Same for the Chaos Spawn. Uh, weakness to fire isn't really going to do anything. Um, could lower some speed on these flesh hounds. Whiff of madness for this guy. And uh, also then and typhlosis on that guy. Typhlosis on these. Alright, that's all pretty great. Uh, spirited away on our garrison troops isn't actually a terrible idea. And which one's Incarnate's Wrath? Eh, hey, just buffs some stuff. Some stuff buffs. Oh, extra damage on your ranged attack. Sounds nice. I'll give that to all of them. Uh, Spectre's Miasma. Entities explode on death. Yeah, we'll put that on our frontliners. And Incarnate's Wrath exploding on death. Oh, nope. I mean, it's the icons of the thing. That's that explodes on death. So give that to you too. Nice. All right, this is all a little bit silly, but we should be able to absolutely like mop the floor with them. In fact, did it actually update this stuff? The close victory, low casualties. I feel like it did, which I appreciate. Get out. Good lad. The land speaks. An elderly farmer begs for an audience. He claims to have found a great crack in the frozen earth from which uh, allegedly emanates the blessed voice of the motherland herself. One wish she will grant, and then the fissure will close, he avows. Though he may be deluded, it would be wise to ignore this. Uh, okay. Um, pray to the land. Why not? Okay. That's awesome, and we now have a bigger army to defend ourselves from this chump. And now that we're in Hag Grief, our Hag can start causing some grief. I know, I'm... I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to... Um, for the wordplay. Okay. A lot of upgrades around here, which is nice. Um, yeah, go the money one. Just basic. Basic old money bonus. Yeah, basic old money bonus there too. In fact, actually, let's go with the farm so we can put up growth a bit. We'll do it here too. Okay, now. Temporary go track. Yeah, that's going to be quicker. That's going to be quicker. And yeah, I might flog those. Though I have just started building a bunch of stuff in it, so I guess we're keeping these. <laughs> Oh, it's not really happy, is it? Why is so unhappy? Uh, just everything, frankly. Just all of the things. All of the things is making you unhappy. Okay, we'll head over there. Okay, we'll upgrade that too. Wow, we spent an awful lot of money. Uh, upgrade a petrified forest. Sure. Okay. I am going to move you a little further. There's no reason you should be. Uh, uh, Shroktak Mountain. Lord 
and there's no reason why you guys can't have more units except for the fact that I spent all my money. That's actually quite a good reason. Although, you get some more Pterodon Rise of Firelead bonus, and I really like them. So that's fun. Uh, and you leveled up. You leveled up, buddy. Firing drills. Let's get that leveled. And he's probably just going to sit in Nagaron for a while, honestly. Uh, Todox is heading for Harkaldra. That's fine. Welch is besieging this place. There's problems in the north. But it's okay. we got an army headed there. I will probably have to give him some more units, you know, to make it really viable, but that's okay. And yeah, it's under attack. I, uh, I mean, I could, I could just use all of the things, but eh. Oh, also, I forgot to get more, more hexes, didn't I? Or curses, whichever one is used for which, I don't know. You know what I mean. Yeah, go nuts, mate. Go nuts. This path is no more certain than that chosen for us by blind chance. Trouble brews in the distance. Feels like the doom I deserve. Alright, bye, buddy. I got some amateur. Ugh. Defense when in own territory is kind of nice. Let's go with that, just on the off chance that we do need to retreat. Because if we're on the offensive, we can handle it, and if we're having to. You know, if we're ever defending, it's because things have got a bit awry. So, toughened stanchions. The added downforce provided by these wooden braces makes for much sturdier sleds, which are far less likely to overturn during swift maneuvers on the ice. And uh, Rothkar Spire just got some committee going. What's going on here? The patriarchs descend upon every home, rooting through drawers and overturning bookshelves in search of any hint of, uh, of heresy. Count, uh, countless Kislevites are dragged from their beds and executed. Who can say how many were innocent? Nevertheless, purity, or at least terrified obedience, is restored. And, obviously, Gotrek and Felix departed. That's what that cutscene of them leaving was about. So, eager to find better opportunities for the Dwarf Slayer's heroic doom, Gotrek and Felix have left your faction to continue their travels. Perhaps in time you'll encounter the eccentric mercenaries again, though hopefully not from the opposite side of the battlefield. I mean, hopefully. Ooh, spooky. If they decide to attack me, um... That could be a bit annoying. So, I'll just assume they won't. And, wow, they didn't even bother to, like, move to attack. Okay, let's get uh, three of these. That might seem like a bit much. I didn't have a follow-up. That's just... <laughs> it is. <laughs> and isn't that great? They're not all for him. You know, not all for him, guys. Wanted one for, for Ma. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All the things. Good. Uh, right. He's gonna head north. Uh, so if we take Ragdo Gorge. Um, then uh, that's sort of problem solved, really. Right, let's get some more units in there. But. Uh, uh, so Ragdo Gorge, I'm actually really looking forward to attacking because I'm actually going to fight that battle because they have added a new map for uh, for these guys. So that's going to be fun. So Mother Ostankia, what should we get for you? Logistician, I suppose. Actually, Skirmisher Traditions we haven't got yet. We don't have many more level ups to do though. So we'll probably get Amber Spear yeah, before we're done, probably. Uh, yeah, you're just going to level up anyway, it's fine. Spirits, it's, all, I see. it's all rubbish. Uh, when are we getting that? Level 14. Yeah. Soon. Soon we'll be able to get her, like, powerful, crazy super things. But, yeah, until then, we'll keep going with the combat stuff, I think. Uh, Prudent Defender. Why the heck not? Cool. And you leveled up again as well. Pleased to see it. Let's go firing drills. We get creatures to the land as well. No other may wield it. And uh we've got more stuff to upgrade. Try and get our income up some more. Good. No okay. And we'll get rid of Fault Trust the Cleaver. Sounds good. Now we need to do more technology. So we got these bottom ones now. Uh so we got great guns. I mean that will help with our garrisons, which is something I haven't really considered. Yeah, we do have garrisons, but there we go. 
spell resist and physical resistance for our elemental um, incarnates. And devotional creed, what's this one? Lowest chance of plague spreading. And Sanashi units, um, sedu uh, seduction budget is, is slashed. That's pretty cool. Only in our regions though. But still, that's pretty handy to have. Okay, so all that's good. Now, how does Mother Stanky look? This is pretty good. This is pretty healthy. So, I think uh, we're going to do this mission. I think we can do this mission. I may even, if we have this army and this army and this army all fighting in the north, we probably don't need Mother Dostankia. In which case, she can teleport across the world. Maybe I'll go fight uh, Gorst or something. You know, I'll take over territory there. That seems like a fun one. I mean, fighting Dreitsch is probably a good shout too. You know, going into the Empire. But I don't feel I can expand around the Empire very much. Um, but then I could, I could probably check in on Kislev. You know, maybe ally with that lot. See if any of them are good. You know, need any help. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, we're going to do this mission now. So, teaming with Mystical Energy, the Magical Fortress. Uh, sorry, not Fortress. Forests. Scattered across the land are the ripe source of spirit essence, promising untold power to any who might channel it. With dark magic, gateways may be opened to each forest, providing an endless fount of uh, spiritual energy. The Wood Elves, however, prove a constant thorn in the side. Seeing such things as a threat to the sanctity of their land, they defend the magical forest against all intruders, barring entry to any who would seek to channel their essence. Dealing with these misguided miscreants will prove a challenge, yet with the aid of the malevolent spirits of the forest, the ancient power of these woodlands may yet, uh, may yet be within reach. Hello there. So let's do um, Typhlosis on that guy. Uh, whiff of... Actually, do Whiff of Madness on him. Typhlosis on the Zotes. Even though they're, you know, one of the oldest species in the land. Uh, additional weakness to fire would be awesome, but we have nothing that can do fire damage, do we? So, that's a bit pointless. <laughs> this is a bit silly. Uh... Oh, that's Spell Mastery one. Oh! So, Spell Mastery goes down. I'm being so dumb here. So, before, I thought it was a bonus that had a, a penalty to it. I didn't realize it was actually a hex. I thought this was something you equipped on your own guys, and it gave you more Spell Masteries. This is actually going to weaken their spells and cause them to miscast more. So, actually, I'm going to give that to him, because I think that'll be funnier. Um, and I'll make their armor piercing worse, and I'll just, I don't know. I'll lower some leadership on a couple of units. Cool. And... Let's give to you. Uh, Incarnate's Wrath, extra physical resistant melee attack. I think I'll just give that to one of the hags. Uh, I'll give that to another hag. And to Mother Stankia. And, I mean, I could give that to, to Ulrika as well. They can all have the Incarnate's Wrath. Extra speed, spell resistance, and more Incarnate's Wrath. I give that to, I don't know, one of the scary boys. And Rat's Grit. I've been calling it Rat's Gift, haven't I? It's Rat's Grit. More rats. I'm, I'm using all of it, okay? It's, just, it's, a, it's a quest. Big damage resistance. There, an extra ammunition. Give that to you. And extra speed and spirited away. Do want to give spirited away. Because we do actually need to make room for the other incarnate. We want to put another incarnate in this army. So we do need to make room. Um, I don't really want to get rid of the spiders or the bats, so actually, I think I might give it to them. And if they happen to die, they'll turn into a bear. And that's fine. I think that'll be fun. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. So the forest spirits are going to help us, because obviously we have such a great command over the spirits. So we've basically <laughs> made the forest spirits and creatures uh, rise against the elves. That's very cool. And really spot on, because the forest spirits and wood elves, their relationship could be pretty tenuous. You know, like Dreitcher exists, you know, for instance. Um, so yeah, the fact they could be at odds and, and we've turned nature against them. Not all of it. You know, some of the forest spirits are, are totally invested. But uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. 
Okay, so we've used all of the nonsense from our cauldron. Let's attack. The Burrells have made their disapproval of Ostankia's methods known. Unwilling to have her dark magic breathe, uh, breach the sanctity of their land, they stand in staunch opposition to her ways, ready to fight to the death to keep her from channeling the spirit essence that lies within their woodland. So it is death that Ostankia shall give them. The evil and malevolent spirits of the forest will heed the witch's cool. With their aid, these foolish guardians must be cast aside, forever daring to bar the Hag Mother's path. Okay, so, uh, this is cool. Big fan of this. This is, um, uh, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the Great Oak. The Great Oak map. Obviously we're not there, we're somewhere else. But it's cool to see this map being used. Although actually, I think this route is slightly different. So I think they've changed a bit. Yeah, I think they have a bit. It's fine. Uh, anyway, these guys are going to help us out. Which makes me wonder why we need it. Uh, I don't see these guys really accomplishing much. But, alright, we're just going to... We're just going to hit go. The malevolent uh, tree spirit of Vassarin is aligned with our goals. Defend the ancient spirit and his forces as he fights to take back these woods. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a cool... Um, yeah, it's a very cool thing. The fact that like there's a there's a spirit who has like who shares in our agenda. Right, let me go over that way with them. Got hags and stuff in. Uh, but yeah, our ally is getting the absolute snot kicked out of him at the moment. But, we can start debuffing. Yeah, we can start healing. And... You know what? Let's just kill them all. It's just all of them. They all get to die today. Those lucky devils. Alright, let's mess him right up. He'll actually let me click. And... I guess I can't flog a Doom again, can I? Oh, I can, like, throw bears at them, I guess. Let's try that one. It's always fun. Okay, let's attack you guys too. This is a bit of a mess, but I think we're doing some good work. Uh, you guys can attack there. You can hit as well. Yeah, we got to help him out, you know. we really got to help him. Uh, the trees of the forest have spoken and reinforcements are beginning to flank us. Uh, naughty ones. Great hawks. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen better. Let's use Occam's Mind Razor on the boy that we're trying to defend. Let's use the withering on him. Now let's move up. Uh, are they going to land? No, I intercepted them before they could. Well, that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, that is. But it's okay. I can, in fact, make this work. Okay, no, we... We already knackered those hawks. Our bats are scary. Our bats are scary. Uh, Alright, so they're all dealt with. Okay. Uh, Alright, you stay on them. I guess. You, you go for those guys. Uh, things in the woods, you keep chasing those zotes. Because they've been heavily debuffed. And yeah, it seems everything is failing here. And uh, are we being flanked? That didn't strike me as a flank. They came from the same direction that all of our other enemies came in. Which is the opposite of flanking. 
It's the direction we were all facing. God, I love the great stag knights. I always forget these are in the game. Don't fight wood elves a lot. And it's been a while since I played as them. You know, since great stag knights got launched. There's the sisters of twilight. But yeah, they're so cool though. Absolutely stunning. Very glad they're in. Shame they were never not like models for those. Oh, he's still chasing them, which honestly is pretty great for us. I don't know what's going on over here. Nothing that needs doing. Okay, you guys are doing great. Eagle. It's a great eagle. Yeah, you can jump down too. So there's a lot of enemies over here, but we'll just make them all rubbish and then they can't hurt us. Sounds good, right? I think so. Where are they going? Uh, here's some. Alright, that'll work. Alright, you can get rid of them. All great stag knights. Uh, Ulrika can use some of her powers. Uh, oh, okay, no, they've had it. They've had it. <laughs> With their ambushes. Ambushing them from above. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Nice. That was fun. That was cool. Cool battle. Really nice having to like rush to the defense of someone who's going to be our sort of... Um, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, really. Our sort of, you know, proxy government. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, we basically did regime change. At a tree. That's the sort of thing that the, the hag mother's all about, right? It's not... It's not... Um, it's not messing with civilizations, it's messing with nature, but like the same crazy CIA nonsense as, as other nations are always doing to each other. <laughs> Which is pretty hilarious. Like, we got a squirrel in charge now. That's what we do. That's what we do. We kill, kill all the people in the city, put a squirrel in charge. Yeah, one thing is a bit of a shame. We, uh, we never got the chance uh, for Ulrika to join Gotrek's um, army. Because uh, in the Gotrek's and Felix books, um, Ulrika and uh, Felix have a have a bit of a thing, I see. So in fun, sort of, you know, thematic lark. But hey, you know, it's fine. I'm sure they'll meet again one day. Magical forests call to the daughters, revealing gateways long since hidden to the uninitiated. No matter the distance. Or what lies between. The coven can traverse their secret ingresses in the blink of an eye. Very cool. I do like that narrator. It's got like, uh, you know, sort of big Galadriel vibes, you know? But, but, I really like the narrator we had in the, in the last two games. I don't know if they just couldn't get him anymore. Um, but you still hear him from time to time. You know, doing his his trademark catchphrase. Be wary, though. Love that guy. Okay, let's see. Uh, win the following battle. Well, we did. We did do that. Yeah. Short victory completed. There we go. I honestly adore the fact that you can do um, these victories. You know, much, much quicker. I mean, we could have got that years ago if I'd actually bothered to spend spirit essence. But, like, they're nice and achievable. And that's the whole point, you know. They are a short victory. It should be something you can do in, like... Maybe not, like, a, a, a short evening. But, you know, if you give yourself an evening or two. Like, a weekend just to, like, play. You should be able to, should be able to finish a campaign, I think. And, yeah, you can. I, I really hope more campaigns follow suit. You right there? You right there, Ma? So, glory to you, glory to us, the war will go ever on, as is the nature of this turbulent world. But for the moment, we can... Pardon me, we can claim victory. Be wary, though. <laughs> Love that guy. So, um, let's have a look. Logistician, Beard and Renowned. And then I guess we'll get Amber Spear. Maybe Earthing? Apparently I don't care about her miscasting. I always just do like the basic stuff anyway. 
don't feel the need to overcast any of her abilities. And she got so much regeneration, it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you don't need leveling up from me. Uh, level 12, need to be level 14 for that, even though normally that kind of line, you can get that stuff at level 12 for lords. I don't know why they chose 14 for her. Like, for her unique line. It's a bit weird. Uh, Foe Seeker. And... The No Qualms Killer. Oh no. In the real world, dueling is not simply a matter of striking and parrying. You must not just score a hit, you must kill your opponent. And do so before they kill you. The lens so, what next? Uh, I think he can get rid of both of those. You're about to push further up. Uh, so the main thing is I want I want more incarnates. I also might hand off Ulrika for someone else to look after. I also want more hags, which I can get more of. Excellent. I guess so many hags. Um, don't like that one. Um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, more melee defense for the army. I like that one. Zvetkova uh, von Nimerskvitskvit. Nailed it. It's exactly how that's pronounced. And let's get another. Um, Kaladic or Sanguine? Uh, that one. Good Kaladic. Nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, I was gonna I was gonna pass off uh, Ulrika to somebody as well. Do I want Ulrika to go in that army with two hag witches? Or is that too silly? We've got two hag witches in this one. We've got a hag witch and a patriarch in this one. I think I think they can the boyar can just sit there and be like, Well I don't understand any of this. This is crazy. Magical women. Madness. And then uh, she can be all like, I will teach the girl. <laughs> And then he could be like, and I will put her down should she do bad things like nibble, nibble people. No nibbles. Only, only rubles. So that'll be fine. And then, um, yeah, that'll be good. Because I think Ulrika just hanging out with her all the time. It's just, it feels like, a, well, this army feels like a hat on a hat, you know? Like, is this, who's, who's the showstopper here? Is it like, oh, this is Ulrika's party, you know? Or, or is it is it another stank you know? Nah, nah. Nah, we'll send uh we'll send old Rika over here. My hunger does not wait. Uh I'll send you into the sea actually. Probably quicker to get wherever you're going, because I'm probably gonna end up uh meeting up with them up here, because I'm probably gonna take that and then be in Karonka before Ulrika manages to get over there. And, of course, um, if we do get hold of Goat Track and Felix again, we can swap him into this one and, and she can be she can be with them. So that way, it's, it feels narratively better because then we've introduced all the characters individually and uh, and then they can suddenly be like, you know, in, in Season 5, it could be like, oh, oh really, the two of them, they never met. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they seem to be hitting it off. And, uh, yeah, then, then, I don't know, there'll be a will they, won't they? Um, Felix will be like, we were on a break! And it'll, it'll be a whole thing. Um, by that means, you know, oh, I was I was off for those, like, 30 turns or whatever while we were on cooldown before we shot. You know, on a break. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for today. That's it for today. Cool. Everyone enjoyed it? If you did, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, remember, refer a link in the, uh, in the description if you are looking to pick up the DLC still. And, uh... I don't know, if not, um, remember to eat your veggies. Bye. From the smoke, she will rise to claim her price in blood.